Hello and welcome to BM to GM number. I don't know. I lost count. Yeah, it's too trash. The amount of garbage number. is too damn high. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, it's the same people from before. Yep. But uh, you know, this time they're playing the firstborn and the firstborn. Wait, that's that's the same thing they were playing before. And this time I'm playing the firstborn and Hyrak Arya is playing the Jor. So you know that uh, Red is going to have absolutely no idea what he's doing. Yeah, but that's always known. So at this point, I was questioning whether or not I should try using Widow Mines against Void Rays. And uh, I think at this point, I was asking you uh, if it would have been better if our races were switched and you were Widow Mining the, uh, the, 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 the Skill Rays. Skill Rays aren't really easy to Widow Mine, you know that. Yeah. However, um, these people don't exactly seem to show much. Uh, ability with the skill ray control it so mines might have worked quite well and honestly i feel like these people just don't show much skill at anything last game they had a, let's oh. count all the lethals of last game they had warp gate at eight minutes on one base and uh four, four gates so they were trying to do a four gate but it ended up happening at eight minutes none of them got any upgrades except for one player who got a plus one armor as Protoss, like the dps -E race actually... No, they're not dps -E. they're not tanky, they're expensive. The expensive race. Glad we cleared that up. Yeah. Uh, look at Purple's wall, it's kind of... what? Well, it's walling the other side to give even less of a concave for the uh, defending player. Yeah, I don't really get it. And on this map, we feel it's a good, a good idea to wall uh, at the ramp. And also the Reaper garbage has already started. Yep, that's quite The effectiveness of this shit kind of disgusts me. Uh, number kinda... one being how effective it is to, to, to like pay for itself, and number two, how even if you are really shitty with being able to manage reconstructing your base and like expanding and getting production, teching up, at the same time as you're doing your Reaper garbage, you still build up enough resources to do that. So basically garbage takes no skill to, to garbage, and all the skill in the world to hold off. And I feel like that's a problem, except Blizzard yep. doesn't. So we've got uh, the blue Protoss macroing, because that's what he does. Uh, with the constantly chrono gap probes, he's way ahead of everyone else at 31 probes right now, 20 SCVs, 21 probes, and 17 probes. Wow. What's funny is that even when the Reapers are attacking the Stalker, they could pay, even when their Stalker's out, the Reapers can still pay for themselves. Like if you think about it, one Reaper costs more than a stalker in terms of minerals and the same amount in gas. So if the stalkers are being oh, made one at a time, then they will be able to pay for themselves by like piling on one stalker. I think you mixed some of the nouns up there. You said a reaper costs as much as a stalker in equal gas. Yeah, it costs more. A uh, stalker costs more than, than reaper yeah. in terms of minerals. We see one Reaper explode in one pool of blood, which is kind of gross. I'd just um, like to point out right now that I do not enjoy the garbage. It's just that some people need time to macro up, so I kind of have to do some kind of garbage. Well, we've got 44 probes for, for blue, so the macro up is getting kind of insane. Yep. And for blue is kind of getting twice the amount of resources as everyone else. Yep. So uh, what does blue appear to be doing? It looks like double Stargate at the moment. What well, that'll end up in. Uh, we've got one le one Reaper left. One Reaper left? Oh, uh, now there's huge explosion. Anyway, let's speed that up for now. So we've got uh, some cannons being put up because, you know, the garbage will show up sooner or later. Uh, we've got Warp Gate on the way. Yes, we've got Warp Gate on the way, as well as a lot of workers. Oh, look, hey, look, Garbage. Where's the garbage? Where's it hiding? It's not hiding. I don't do that shit. I, I take the I take the garbage and I smash it in your face and tell you to like it. Well, I can I can handle the garbage being in my face, but I will never like garbage. So we've also got, of course, the uh, purple's mothership core moving out again to do the annoying thing uh, again. Except at this point, uh, he's doing that to the Jewer, which can be repaired by a medevac. And there's nothing the core values can do to the medevac. 
Yeah. And the amount of damage it does is basically like one energy per second, I guess. It does eight damage per 0.85 seconds. Yeah, but, but like... Oh, sorry, it probably drains one energy from the medevac per second. Oh, definitely. So basically insignificant amounts. Yep. And if it sticks around, you know, there's a lot of things that can come over here. Guys with guns, missile planes, well, I guess I have to be more specific. The missile planes that attack air. About the garbage moving out over there. Uh, the core values is being docked at, of course, another waste of energy. That is... Well, at least I got two kills. Two whole kills. Big deal. Uh, plus, the time warp doesn't actually last long enough to warrant the 100 energy it cost, you know. It's much better use for just photon overcharge. Yep. Uh, it looks like Blue just likes to make garbicles this game. Uh, so far there's about seven, eight, eight of them, actually. About to go well, They're still not doing anything right now. And over here you see the photon overcharge being more effective use than the uh, trash that's trashing right now. That thing's got one health. So if the shield regen was not there, then it would have been safe. But the missile planes do show up and shut that down. Now the medevacs should be able to heal that in if they show its shoes. And there's actually enough Garbacles here to uh, bring down the Nexus and all the Stalkers along with it. That's Let's exactly that what's happen, happening. Shall we? There we go, Stalkers. Two. Even with the damage spread out in the most inefficient manner, it's still enough to uh, well bring down all the Stalkers. And, and for wow. the cost of four Garbacles, the Nexus goes down, a handful of Stalkers go down, and most of the probes do go down. Surprisingly, that's probably even in terms of both players, in terms of units lost. Yeah, I mean, but, sure, uh, Blue might have lost more in terms of gas, but it you gotta remember, at this point, Purple is not mining any gas either. I he's got one base. Yeah, but like from that base, he's not getting any gas income. So it's yeah. essentially like you've dealt gas damage to him as well. So we've also got uh, Blue. So right now you got the, 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 the bad players who don't know how to play the game piling like a dickhead. And Thank over you. there on the right side, you see a drop f full of garbage. This is actually a not not a, not that bad of a time for a drop, although there is a lot of stalkers moving in. And in the base, we see a garbicles and we see guys with guns. Yeah, but we also see five cannons. Yep. Now, five cannons isn't going to do much against stalkers since although stalkers like don't really have only two health. Yeah, and over well, here, you do see the Robo Bay went down. That was actually upgrading Lance at this point. If you take a look at the Colossus, it still has range 6. So they're going to take a while before they can have their full range out. So here we go, the garbage is retreating, and the garbage, of course, is in the base. Guys with guns and garbicles, surprisingly efficient at dealing with stalker garbage. These are 1-1 one -one stalkers, so it seems like you know they, they sort of started getting the upgrades. It's not a bad start. Also got a photon armor charge going strong. Yep. That Nexus has been putting in work. I don't know how many kills it got because it's making probes, but it's definitely been, been putting in the work. And of course now you have guys with guns against Stalkers, and unless you got Stalkers that heavily out-upgrade or outnumber the guys with guns, or even in even numbers, you don't want to fight guys with guns with Stalkers. Ever. Not. So uh, they lost their army, really, and uh, the, the overall effect was... Well, Teal still has 3 Kalao, so keep that in mind. But doesn't have Warp Gate for some reason. And Eunice's last tab, of course, shows two Protoss losing the most, Blue being the third, and Red losing almost nothing because, well, Red's Eunice cost nothing. We've also got some heavy garbage, I mean heavy macro, coming online right here. Kind of cool to watch those things come online, actually. Yeah. So we're here for red, we see guys with guns and missile planes. Now, if any of the Protoss players decides to make skill rays, that's going to be a bad day for all of those skill rays. And of course, we have the lazy probes. Taking a page out of the Garbalisks book in the last game, hoping that when the Felidals or the uh, Garbicos show up again, slacking will keep them alive. We've also got uh, six Stargates in total for blue at the moment. Each of them seem to be chronoing out Garbicles which is a really odd choice. 
Blue is embracing the garbage of the new game. Yep. Not in the correct manner, but in the correct manner that units should be used. You know, for straight up battles, not for bullshit. I learned actually that uh, a Garba can take, can take down a town a town center, or a, whatever you want to call it, the Nexus, or a command center, whatever, in a, if it has full energy. The only thing it can't do is kill off a hive, which, wow, which lives with about 400 health. It's pretty impressive though, considering the fact that it's a spell that it's using. Well, spell damage does ignore all armor. And all structures, I think, have base armor. Like, this robo has one. This gateway has one. Huh. Terran buildings, on the other hand. Oh, they also have one. Yeah, it's but just Terran buildings can be upgraded. So, uh, army-wise, we've got 11 garbicles for blue along with the core values. You've got standard army for teal. You've got uh, stalker army for purple. And we've got uh, standard army for red. Well, kind of standard. There's no missile man involved. Hey, when I daka, I daka. You know what's upsetting about these probes right here? What? If there was, a, if there were like two mines there, they'd all disappear. Yep. Yep. So of course we noticed that. Uh, look at that. There's a bunch of Kalaus and two armies worth of stuff sitting there. And for some reason, they really don't like warp gate. But at least they're getting gate upgrades very, very late. With them. So unfortunately, the range did finish this time. And over here, you can see how shitty cannons are. Yep. They start focusing on the units with higher aggression. So the guys with guns, right when the first one gets dropped down. Spores don't suffer from this problem. Yep. Missile turrets don't suffer from this problem. It's yep. just the freaking cannons. Again, fuck the Protoss. Yep. See, if those cannons, if those cannons actually killed off the uh, medivacs. Uh, oh, look, it's another battle. We've got the Garbicles focusing down the Kalaus. Uh, okay, got the missile planes on the Kalaus. Yeah, and now that the uh, Kalaus are gone, the guys with guns can go to town. And over here you have Pure Stalker, which got plus one, plus two, against plus three, plus three Missile Man. With some cannon support. With some cannon support. Can't forget about the cannon support. Hey, that cannon has two kills, and this one has zero, and that one has two kills. Not bad. Considering so, how the opponent is Protoss, I feel like those cannons have definitely paid for themselves. Yep. Of course, we've got some skivas which have been stolen from the Terran, uh, busily fixing the garbicles because. What do you Protoss mean fixing? We can't build these things. We don't know how they work. Fine, they banded. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right so, now, yeah. Red is transitioning into pure missile man because it seems like. Purple is making the Stalkers, and uh, Teal is making the Kalaus. So there's no sign of any bobs. I mean, there was a few bobs out of Teal before, but right now he's continuing to make Stalkers. To be honest, so if, they made, from... if, if he made full Lethals, the battles would have gone a lot differently. Yep. Although Purple is macroing quite well, if I do say so myself. I think he uh, did that after he uh, ran out of stuff to do. Yeah. Just like, ah, oh, I should probably expand at this point, so I might as well throw down three expands or some shit. I wasn't yeah, paying attention right. earlier. So right now we see a very Missile Man heavy composition from our red player. I forgot if any air actually showed up. No. So far we've got 31 blue barbicles on the field with uh, all of them have plus three, plus three, plus three. It's kind of useless on them, but you know. Oh well. But well, you know, it does transition nicely into the other area of this, if you have plus three weapons. Yep. And all you're, you're saving about is, like, a few minerals. We've got the, uh, Nevermind that vanished. Yep. We got the Nevermind, the Unslab, we got the Nevermind, the base. And I'm returning the favor of, uh, breaking bases and leaving, because that's all they seem to be good for. Like, let's take a look at what they did in the last game and this game. They smashed bases last game and left, and, uh, they sucked. Pretty much all they did. Yep, more or less. At this time, I think Azrael was telling me to leave the probes alone because uh, we were embracing the trash of smashing buildings and leaving. And also proving how the 80 Mortal Hit Squad is less in terms of everything 
than the 16 Missile Man hit squad. We also see that a base just finished warping in. Yep. And yeah. I'm kind of forced to run away from the probes, except I just said fuck it. Like, I tried to load them in, but Missile Man are just so fat. They take up so much space in the medevacs that you know, I can't load them all up. This is actually kind of sad to watch six probes get killed by one Missile Man. Well, to be fair, that one bomb had no upgrades. Still. And probes don't benefit from attack upgrades. Yep. So over here you see a skill raise moving out. But what's funny is that these skill rays probably took five minutes to make. And all Let's Terran has to do is make like a bunch of missile planes, like one round of missile planes and one round of guys with guns to deal with yeah. them. And this Check is this something that well. you don't see very often. There is more Garbacles here than Void Rays in a Protoss army. The only thing that can survive is this Mama Ship Corps. Yep. That's quite a bit of DPS, you know. What do they do? 15 plus 10 versus Light? 10 plus 15. Oh, 10 plus 15. I know, 15 plus 10. I don't know. Yeah. Of course, some are tired already. Yep. Sure is bright. See, at this point, what I was doing as I was typing, that's no way to spell your name. But uh, the game finished before I could do that. We don't like it when we have when we're cut off from actually BMing. Can we get another Newton's Cradle for that game? We can get a Newton's Cradle for those players. Yay!